All right, this is Virginia Highlands Disc Golf Course, uh, course vlog. It's a nine hole course. Hey, this is a par four, 375 feet. It should, it goes up to the left. You wanna get out to that <clears throat> pine tree right there. If you see it out there. And we're gonna use the striker by Latitude 64. Stable control driver. Uh, this is the first shot of the day. Uh, we'll see how it goes. it's not a terrible shot uh, I let it go just a little early I'm gonna switch discs and driver for Nova Golf still got a little disc golf 13.5 negative 4.2 Pulled that a little, rolled out all right. Um, we should be able to make this for an easy par. Um, your first throw is kind of key on this one. And typically, when I'm throwing fairly well, um, I can get them right between these two trees or on the opposite side. Your second shot's a pretty much easy layup. And then you should have a tap in birdie. Coming up here to my disc for my birdie look. It's not terrible position. Uh, I'm gonna try to give it a small run at the truth stable mid range, and I'm gonna. Semi lay it up. I'm gonna try to get in the air and let it cut back. Oh, I didn't get it far enough. That was a pretty good throw though, overall. Hole one par. Just gonna tap in with my driver. All right. If I don't leave this one extremely out into those weeds or the trees, that's really all you got to do as long as you make sure you get it down. Um, have a disc that kind of cuts back towards the basket. It's right. You can see it par 3, 255 feet. Um, it's right around the corner there, down the hill. Uh, I'm going to strike her again and hopefully explode through a little more uh, so it'll come out at the right at the right time pulled that one just a little bit it shouldn't give me a terrible look to at least par this. Um, right now I'm not letting go at the right time. Uh, it might be because I'm filming, who knows. Um, I'm a little up on the hill, I'm gonna have a downhill putt. All right, coming up to my disc. I didn't get enough on it. Uh, enough kind of lean on it to bring it back. Kind of went straighter than I would want. Um, so the basket you can see it's right down there um, I'm just going to try to throw my mid range out and have it come back near the basket and try to get a par on this I um, still got a little it's 
speed two, four uh, glide, zero turn, fade one. My bag on seven discs right now. Just gonna throw this judge in. Right, part three, 147. Uh, and you wanna, you can go underneath, but more than likely you wanna kinda go over this tree and bring it back on that kind of line. Again, just going striker, lie 264. Um, and hopefully, if I can get it upright, it'll, it'll skim right across the tree um, and work itself back towards the basket. Basket. Wasn't a bad shot. Wasn't a bad shot. As you can see, our basket's here. We travel a little far. Um, just gonna take a putter, the judge. My only putter in my bag right now. Minus one on that hole, even for the day. All right, coming up to hole four, par three. Just 144 feet. Um, typically I'd use putter, or sometimes I'd use putter here. Uh, I have a bad tendency to pull it and it'll just stay straight into those uh, pines. So I'm going with the truth, my mid range. Um, and just kinda probably get it down there on an angle and let it come back a little bit. Right now I'm a little off, I got an early release, um, so it hit those pines on the left. I didn't take it out right enough, um, but we'll fix it. Angle and let it come back a little bit. All right, we landed right there. Uh, not incredibly far, still a long putt though. Um, I'm gonna use my judge. Rolled out a little. As you can tell from the basket, these rolled out more. This one rolled out more. I took a second shot there. Judge is what I played. Both of them rolled out further than you'd like. But I'm gonna go with the judge putt. Safe par. And par it is. I'm gonna skim by the right side. Um, but par on what should be an easy birdie hill. Really should be an ace run. All right, this is a par five or par three, number five, two sixty four. You try to put it over the dam there, and if you see my disc, it's kind of in line with that. Um, but there's a there's a big um, hole kind of dam in the middle, um, so you can either be putting from down there, or if you can get it to the other side and come back. Um, I'm going to go with striker again. Um, it's kind of been my go-to the last couple days and my, my usually I have an issue of going straight at it this way uh, so I'm going to try to go over the dam hard hopefully not pull it into these uh, pines up here It 
it wasn't a terrible throw you want to go more up the hill though um, but I should have a putt at it. I should it's an uphill putt so I should be able to go at it I walk up here, show you the little collection area. That's where you want to go right over that and then come back. Mine was too far to the left, it worked down. But it shouldn't be a, a terrible putt. I should be able to go kind of at it. Um, stick with my mid range truth. Oh, it wasn't a bad attempt. Looked like it's right. This one. There we go, par on five, even for the day, on to six. This is the tightest hole, it's kind of a shot down the middle you have hanging trees um, really the key is just to not pull it if you don't pull it um, you can actually get a good good distance down there it should be an easy birdie if you don't pull it um, or kind of push if you can stay in the middle even with a little cut into the woods you're all right um, you don't want to go right Going with the Vulcan, Star Vulcan, distance driver. I hit one of the first trees. I'm start, I'm bailing out. Um, I mean, I know my mistake. I just gotta turn my hips more and come through it. I'm gonna try the same disc. Uh, maybe have a little well actually I'm just gonna try the striker uh, we're kind of in a bad spot hopefully we can still get a par on it uh, we're under some trees I'm kind of just laying up I'm hoping to just get up in there fairway just a little bit From no run up, that should, I'd say that's probably a decent attempt at birdie. Coming up to it, we're not too far out. I think I just might, I may semi run it. Uh, I may get this, I'm gonna go with the truth and I'm gonna try to get it just kind of up in there a little bit. Um, hopefully it'll sit next to it if it doesn't go in. Yeah, I kind of babied that one. Uh, I was afraid to go long. I just want to take my par. Coming up for the tap in. That'll be par on six. I think we're even for the day. All right, coming up to seven, par three, 153 feet. We're going with the truth, mid range. Um, and you gotta 
you can hit any three of these gaps. I'm gonna try middle um, and see if I can keep it straight. I hit my gap. Oh, just a little bit over it. That was a good ace run though if it would have dropped just a little bit. I hit my gap. Coming up to the basket, I hit my angle. I hit my gap. It was actually a really good ace run. Um, it just went over it. Ended up right here. Should be a fairly easy tap in with the judge. And that's a birdie, so we're minus one for the day. To pull my shots on this one, uh, down here at these trees now i've even pulled it further uh, i'm probably overthrowing it but your basket is right behind this top tree up here i pulled that one a little bit Honestly, that didn't look like a bad shot. Um, it didn't feel like I pulled it, just never broke back for me and gave me that fade I needed. All right, as you can see, I'm right here near this drain. Luckily, it didn't go through the drain. <sighs> I got a really tough shot. Um, I think I'm gonna try to put a forearm hard up that gap, uh, but I haven't decided yet. If you clear the trees on this, the right side, you got a free shot to the basket. Um, where I'm at is not a good shot. Uh, I could probably throw a real hard skip through there uh, with my mid range. I think that's might what I try. I'm gonna try a hard skip with my mid range. I gotta keep it low, really low though. Oh, right into that tree. I knew it was gonna be a hard shot. Struggling today. Can't tell if it's the vlog or if I'm just sucking, but it's not going well. Coming up for the next shot. Uh, I'm definitely gonna work this out right try to get it on a up line I'm gonna use the mid-range again uh, actually I think I might throw a forearm and just try to keep it down through there Well, that should be an attempt at par after some awful play on the eighth hole. All right, that's what we got. Going putter. This will keep us at minus one on the day. Oh, just a little short, hit the basket. Plus one on eight, even for the day. Even for the day on to hold nine. Hole nine, 264 par three. It's pretty easy over the hill. Um, it's actually a hard hole, I guess. I struggle with it. Uh, but basically directly over that hill, if you can get on the right side of the hill and work back, you're in a good spot. I 
I got mine a little high, but par should be easy. Still got a little work to do. But it should be an easy par. Going with the truth mid range. Oh, gave it a good run. Hit the basket. Coming up, parked it on the second. Got a par even for the day. Uh, not the best round, uh, but we'll do some more course vlogs, different places. Get better. And yeah, appreciate you watching.